Uh, Patrick Miller. I'm a managing partner at a consulting firm, Archer International. Been an industrial security controls professional for about 30 years. Uh, everything from electricity to oil and gas, water, mining, uh, manufacturing, food production. Uh, I've also been a federal regulator in the U.S. and I have written international regulations on cybersecurity for the electric power sector. I was brought uh, to Sochi to talk about how to communicate with executives. Uh, it's typically challenging for technical staff to communicate at the executive level. Uh, just a difference in the words that they use. Technical people, they don't speak executive language. They speak protocols, systems, um, various things at a very low level in the organization. Executives are worried about many more things than process operations, security. They're worried about making money. So that's really all they think about. So they don't lie awake at night thinking about security problems. They lie awake at night about losing money, damage to the company. So I'm trying to help the audience understand from a technical perspective how to speak the language that the executives understand so that when they have security issues, real security problems, how to get management's attention and then how to get them to commit to solving the problem. The uniqueness to the industrial cybersecurity professionals, many of us come from an engineering background, uh, which is very technical, very specific. We're not extroverted personalities. Interpersonal communication is challenging for us. So uh, learning some of the language to use, some of the behaviors to change, uh, and some of the ways to uh, communicate your message, uh, those are, I guess, are more challenging and should resonate more with this audience than other areas. A lot of it is just the wrong words. You, you're passionate about your, your, your situation, you know the right solution, you've done your research, uh, and then you get in front of the executives and you start speaking, speaking technical words to them, they have no idea what you're saying. But if you reframe it, if you say these words instead, say, I'm trying to solve some operational efficiency issues. We have, the plant keeps going down, and here's why. Um, I want to keep the plant up. I want to minimize downtime. I want to increase efficiency. Those are words they understand. But if you say these problems are happening because of some security issue, they have no idea what you're saying. Every cyber attack gets greater awareness. Um, no one likes to see a company like theirs on the front page of the newspaper or you know, everywhere on, on television. Um, so when they see somebody like them or an organization that does something like they do, they think, oh, that could have been me. So that always raises awareness anytime that happens. What they often don't do is go inside to look for answers. They never go back to their security staff and say, this happened, how do we solve it? They come back and say, just make sure this isn't gonna happen to us. Um, then you come with solutions and you speak technical and they say, I don't know how this solves our problem. So there's, there's a disconnect. Yes, it raises awareness, but then it's up to the security professionals to speak solutions to the executives to that problem in a way that actually makes the executive want to commit. Well, the, we'll start with the U.S. where I'm from. The government has openly stated that if you have a security issue, they may or may not help. They may or may not be able to help, whether they want to or not. Uh, so it, it's it, everyone is left on their own. So you as an industrial facility, an electric utility, water utility, gas utility, mining, manufacturing, any of those, uh, they get to be nation state quality defenders. In some other countries, if it is national infrastructure and it's owned by the, the country, uh, they will have a different response. It's often a military style response uh, in a lot of cases. From what I've seen, at least around the world, there's an interest in government in what's happening. Um, there's a desire to want to respond. They may or may not have the skill sets or the funding or even the authority to help. Hackers always move faster than laws. Technology will change much faster than regulation. Regulation has to fit, let's just pick an industry, whether it's oil and gas or electricity or water. Regulation has to fit every single organization in the entire sector. So all of the electric companies, all of the oil and gas companies, all the water companies, which means it's always the lowest, lowest bar for all of them to meet. Regulation is often seen as solving the problem, when in reality it's creating a minimum level to participate. So we have to change the mindset of regulation will make you secure. Regulation levels the playing field for participation in the sector. I would say the top three issues, digital transformation is one. Um, IT and OT are blending. There is a very significant movement by the vendors to deliver digital technologies that are replacing analog technologies. It makes it easier for hackers to get in because it's going to be digital and it will be connected because of data, which is the second problem. Data is money, data has value. It's those two pieces, and then thirdly would be regulation, 
changing what you can do with your data, your business, your operations, and international behaviors. Those three things and how they all fit together are with the biggest issues for a CISO uh, or any executive, really, for an industrial facility of any size in today's world.